myocardial infarction with non-obstructive coronary arteries or MINOCA had a prevalence of 6% among myocardial infarctions noted in a recent systematic review. They are more likely to be younger and female but less often have dyslipidemia as a risk factor. Other risk factors were found to be similar. Total mortality at one year with MINOCA is about 4.7% compared to 6.7 with myocardial infarction associated with obstructive coronary artery disease. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Typical myocardial infarction as demonstrated by cardiac magnetic resonance imaging was noted only in about a quarter of cases. One third had myocarditis while about one fourth of cases had no significant abnormality on CMR. Inducible coronary spasm occurred in about a quarter of the cases and thrombophilia was noted in 14%. For diagnosing MINOCA, criteria as per universal definition of myocardial infarction should be satisfied along with absence of significant coronary stenosis that is 50% or more. There should be no overt cause for the clinical presentation like Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. An observational study of MINOCA took patients from the sweat heart registry. Of the 199,162 myocardial infarction admission screened, they found 9,466 patients with MINOCA. They evaluated the 9,136 patients who survived 30 days after discharge to assess the role of medical therapy for secondary prevention. They found long-term benefits with statins, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. There was a trend towards positive effect with beta blockers while dual antiplatelet therapy had a neutral effect. These are the first set of references on MINOCA. Remaining references on MINOCA are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.